All right, it's time for lunch, and today ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher is enjoying some French cuisine at C'est La Vie's new restaurant. Judy? Welcome to C'est La Vie. I'm so excited to be broadcasting from here because I've been a big fan of C'est La Vie and their other restaurant, Lolita Tartine, downtown. Well, they took a former space out here off University in Cooper Creek Boulevard. You'll know it because it's right next to Total Wines and Nordstrom's Rack. They have been doing phenomenally since they first opened. Why? Because they have beautiful French cuisine and pastries. What's really exciting is they're also open for dinner Wednesday through Saturday night. So you can have those classic country fresh dishes. You're going to get to explore the menu with me and the owner. We'll talk about how they make those beautiful pastries and explore the menu all on a trip to France, but it's not going to be a plane fare. It's just a little car ride over to Cooper Creek Boulevard. So stay with me throughout the hour as I come to you from C'est La Vie off University. I'm so happy to be back with the owner, Jean, and he's going to talk to us about the history of C'est La Vie, because you've been downtown for a long time before you came over here as well. So tell us a little bit about the history of C'est La Vie. Okay, my C'est La Vie now, it's like 20 years. Uh, it's already 20 years. It's a long time. And uh, actually, it was time for us to go forward, because Sarasota, it's a big city, and I think we... A lot of people like us, you know, and downtown being just like uh, downtown. It's uh, some people, they are like uh, west, east or south, and they need just to have uh, access of our nice food, you know, and uh, nice croissants and uh, uh, pastries. And we are ac actually we have a good reputation, I guess. You and have a great reputation and my waistline stands for it because I love your pastries and what you're doing. Yeah, and uh, we uh, but we decided that uh, we're gonna do our first, uh, not franchise because I don't like the term. It's not mm -hmm. what we want to do, but uh, our first uh, extension of uh, Celavi. It's a license, and uh, we uh, we d we just partner with a couple French people that knows very well the food too, mm -hmm. and uh, and we decided to extend also our dinner. Uh, for for that area as well as downtown, uh, we already have Lolita Tartin that does dinner as well, and uh, it means that we decided that it was probably a good uh, addition, you know. For now this is such a big space compared to the original C'est La Vie. Has it been challenging, or and and what have you had to do differently? Because you're making all these homemade beautiful pastries, but your volume's so much bigger here. Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, here it was uh, it was good to have uh, a little bit bigger because C'est la Vie, we love it. Everybody loves C'est la Vie, but to work, it's pretty tough. You know, yeah. you know what yeah, is restaurant right. business. You know, <laughs> uh, here, well, of course, it was much uh, much better. What was challenging for us is to make it nice. A uh, little bit uh, the same mm -hmm. same atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and doing like a Celavi in a kind of a brand new space, you know, and uh, I think we we succeed not too bad. Well, know? considering when I walked in the door, there was a waiting line, and that that says it all. Even before the main lunch rush, so you are doing. But stay with us. We're going to talk about this wonderful cuisine on the table in just a few minutes. And now it's my favorite part of Fridays is when we sit down and we get to talk about the food. So please tell us what you prepared today. So you can have, to start with a breakfast, a baked croissant with dulce de leche. Oh. And to have a lighter part of in the dish, we add some fruits. People love fruits. So, so. It's, a, it's a balance after yes, you have all the sauce balance, and yes. the croissant and French toast. This so, is such a classic. So it's a croque madame. It's something you have in Paris, in the bistro of Paris. It's a uh, melted cheese on a toasted uh, bread and uh, ham with a little salad to balance the, the plate one, once more with the egg on the top. It's a croque madame. I love it. And you, your quiche? You have the quiche Lorraine. It's come from the east of France. It's ham and cheese baked with a, with a, in a pie with salad. It's very good. It's very known in the, the east of France. When you're cold, it's a very good dish to, to have. That's like right. today. Like today, <laughs> if it's not 80 degrees, we're cold. Like this. <laughs> I know that now. Now, you've started serving dinner. It's dinner, so we have the dog breast with uh, peaches, so it's sweet and uh, sweet and so. And you have the mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes to go mm. with it. It's one of our best sellers. I bet. Yes. Well, it's a classic People French like dish, that. right? You're it's right. The yes. duck breast. 
Uh, the signature salad that we have is the Nordic with a tuna salad on the, in the center. We have salmon on, the, uh, on, on bread. We have a very good quality salmon. We have a very good supplier, which made really the difference. It's a very good, uh, you know, you have much food and people love it. And, and it's your good. bread. It's your yes. wonderful bread. The bread is bring so every morning by the baker. They work all night to have fresh bread every morning. So the bread is great. Beautiful salad. So a, a French classic. The mussels, we have four ways to cook the mussels. And we serve it with real french fries. They are cooked in the morning. Every morning we cook them once. And when the customer wants these dishes, we cook them the second time, which make them very, uh, very Chris, sweet and very fresh. And it's, that's such the classic way. Yes, I love classic. that you take the turn. And I'm so and intrigued by the scallops. So to finish, it's scallops on what we call a tian, Provencal tian. It's a layer of uh, vegetables. So it's a light, very light plate and very tasty with the scallops, and uh, if you love vegetables, you will love this plate. And it's gonna pair beautifully with their fine selection of French wines. Go nowhere, it's about time for dessert in just a few minutes. Christophe, it would not be c'est la vie without your beautiful dessert, so please tell us. Uh, actually, you, you know c'est la vie by the desserts, and but we're doing more because we have also crepe desserts that they are beautiful. This one, it's not really <laughs> A dream. It's a Nutella, coconut, and uh, and uh, banana actually. Oh my gosh! Uh, but so beautiful. But we, you have so many other types yeah, of Yeah, actually, it's it's too small. That table, it's too yeah. small to show the, our display. We have so many desserts. Right. But uh, but actually, it's the desserts that really fresh and uh, that people love, and it's really classic French. And we do it. Uh, I mean, my pastry chef is is really unbelievable and doing a great job. You know, but it's a lot of people working for Celavi. It's, but and it's all brilliant. So whether you want croissants and buns or crepes or fruit tarts, whether you want to get the large size for a family gathering or lots of little pastries, you're going to love C'est la Vie, and we're so happy you're out here on Cooper Creek Boulevard now. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you.